Rain. When it is so rainy, we feel wet. What colors do artists use to show us a rainy day? What kinds of brush strokes do they make to show us rain? Today, we're going to use oil pastel, and you can design your own rainy, rainy picture. I wanted to do raindrops coming down at an angle. So while my hand pulls down in a line, I am dotting my utensil so that it makes rain shapes. At the bottom of my paper, I wanted to draw splashy puddles. So I am making ovals inside of ovals all around the bottom of my paper. This shows that the water has started building deeper and deeper on the ground, just like on our playground. This is going to be a very wet painting. And also for this painting, we're going to use water and our tempera cakes. And I want you to look at your colors and see what colors make you think of the cold, rainy day we were having. My brush can help make the right shapes and strokes to show plops of water. The rain is good for our earth and our plants and our animals, but on a day like today, there is so much I want to make a painting about it. So I am using some blue, and I am also going to swirl the colors into my puddles to make the puddles look deep and wet. I am going to use some purple to keep my art very cold and wet. And I might even use a little bit of green. I can control the amount of water and color that goes on my picture. You might want to swirl your brush in the color to get strong color, or you might want to use more water to keep it light. You decide what colors overlap, how light or bright or soft and watery they are, and have 